Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Let's Play SteamWorld Heist! It is time to go after the Queen and see about freeing their captive crew member on that one strange ship we encountered. So, let's head on over there and get this done! That's right, when we left off, we... I did some miscellaneous moving things around, I did some hat stuff, I didn't purchase any new equipment, but I did realize off screen that I had one extra pair of plus two damage melee knuckles in our inventory. So they were vendored, and I think we have one piece of inventory space. We're also short a weapon. I think Billy's currently not equipping anything but what his default weapon is. So we'll have to keep an eye open for extra stuff. We also have enough. Well, everyone else has their decent equipment. Wow, I can't even speak has utility equipment attached to them, with the exception of, I think, Billy as well. So three, two more inventory spaces, and I think we have enough that everyone has, can have their default gear with them. So I don't have to begin moving things around when we go on new missions. I'm getting ahead of myself. It's time to... have an audience with the Queen. The private quarters of Her Majesty. Let's hope the crew is ready to step through the looking glass and is granted an audience with the Queen. They'll have to royally rumble with her to get access to the vault. Okay. Who's coming along with me here? This is a boss fight, so the only thing at the end of this that's waiting for us is experience. Let's bring Piper. I think we'll bring Seabrass. He's very useful. with He can keep himself going for a bit and deal decent damage to anyone who walks up to him. Um, could bring Billy for some melee. Flea Flisher may be useful as well. Uh, Beatrice could be good, but I'm really nervous that we're gonna, oops, that we're gonna take tons of damage on myself when I bring you Beatrix. That AoEs, the AoEs are very nice. Dora could be handy actually for another scope. And her speed is decent, plus she has a stun. Ivansky would also be good, dealing 8 damage in the AoE, and he has Taunt. We'll bring Ivansky. Ivansky, Seabrass, Faraday, and one more person. Preferably someone a little more mobile. We could bring Payroll. I've not used this weapon, though, so that will be make it interesting, but you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's give you also the Freeze Bomb. Okay, this will be our group. I have no idea what to expect with this weapon. Realistically, I shouldn't be bringing it. But why not? This will be fun. And if we lose, well, at least I'll have tried out, tried out this gun. Let's, let's give it a shot. Step into our royal chambers, pirates. We gather that you are the lowly steam bots that have been vexing our royal space force. Did you really think we would let you stroll into the royal vault and take our prisoner from us? Preposterous. The creature is ours. We caught it, slumbering in the depth of space, and we woke it. We have already learned so much. This thing was alive before the earth cracked. It saw it happen. Once we break it, we shall tap its unlimited power and it will grant us a blueprint to reassembling the world. All of that power is what we have strived for. It shall all be worth it in the end. You, on the other hand, we have no use for. We shall have to kill you all now. All right, everyone. Let's, let's begin this. So... The Queen herself, I think she can flash around, as we just seen during the battle itself. And she has these two pistols. I don't remember how much damage they do. I think she can fire both of them. She's pretty decent at ricocheting shots as well, so we'll have to keep that in mind. I'm thinking to start, Piper will go up here and maybe try to kill the soldier who's up there. But let's take a look at everyone else as well. Seabrash can charge forward and destroy this turret. Ivansky can move here and put a rocket into that turret. 
and then that leaves one more turret all the way up here that we can run up to and destroy, maybe, with payroll. Alright, let's do payroll first, actually. We'll wheel and deal him, and charge him here. Oh, he is flagging this guy. We could just kill him with this. No, we're going to aim up here and try to get this gun. We could fire twice with a double shot. Let's let's do this. Since I have no idea what this gun is capable of doing. Hopefully any shots that miss won't ricochet down into us down here. That would really suck. Actually, that's, it's not explosive, Tim. So don't worry about it. I like that gun. Okay, it's not so bad, and it, it's not explosive. Piper, let's move you over here. And kill the ad. Seabrass charges up. And destroys this gun turret. Ivanski moves up behind cover. And shoots a long-range rocket at that turret. Wonderful. Okay, this is fine. Payroll? You can actually fire long range and take out that turret and maybe put some damage on the queen. Knock your hat off. That's awesome. But we didn't we missed the turret altogether. Piper will move up. And she can probably get the turret. We don't have to worry about any, any extra damage coming at us. Now, something else about the queen. When her life is down to two-thirds, we will get one of those royalist honor guard showing up. And when her life is at one-third, we'll get the other one. So we have to be prepared to deal with someone who is able to cripple us and able to make those ricochet shots. And also have to worry about um, the big giant guy with his knife. Seabrass, there's no really good place to move you to. We could leave you here and see where she teleports. Ivanski, let's move you here. And see if we can put some damage to her, since we can hit the wall by her. Yeah, see, Bess, I don't really want to move you at the moment. We'll, we'll just keep you here. with this, so she's not moving. Payroll, let's move you up. Well, do I really need to move him up? We had a shot on her last time from here. Let's just fire at her again. We can move you up here, Seagrass, and kill the ad. Vonsky stays where he is and fires at her again. want to move you, Piper. I don't want to put too much damage on her, because I don't want it spawning the ad at the end of this turn. So why don't you just stay where you are? Okay, this is kind of working out. Seagrass, let's move you all the way over here. Damage her some more. Piper, stay put, and Ivanski. I'm not gonna fire with you this round. Ah, this time she did not move. Bat, oh, she didn't blink. I think we get other ads besides the Royalist who show up, and they're able to act 
wrecked that round as well, which makes me kind of nervous. I can have a good shot with you here this time, Ivanski. P-roll, let's move you here. There's almost... Uh, you'll take a hit, honestly, if I do that, though. The, the angle now is a bit awkward to hit her. Let's see if we can make her spawn the ads with Piper. Oh, bother. No, oh, bother. Oh, God. Hands off her majesty. And let me crush you already. I wasn't expecting it to pop up behind Piper. Ivanski can move maybe here. And we'll think about where he's what he's going to do. Payroll can move right here and fire into them and kill them. We could taunt with Ivanski. And Seagrass, we'll be moving you. Yeah, I don't want Piper to die, so we have to kind of defend her. That's the no movement. Oh, we could throw no movement on them. That would stop the big guy from being able to charge us this round. Let's let's do this. This also means Ivanski can stay where he is and fire straight up at them. We want to kill this one before we put any more significant damage on the queen. Since you guys have decent cover at the moment, we'll charge Seabrass back. Normally I'd have him move up here and shoot the queen right below her, but he'll take shots in return, and, more, and again, I need to kill this guy before we focus on the queen anymore. Uh oh, Seabrass. Alright, good. She can stay up there. Alright, now we need to be careful because he's going to be able to charge us. And I think he's got like six movement. I also think he does like four damage if he, if he manages to, to attack us. Alright, let's move you here. Dubonsky, let's move you here. You'll fire at him. Hey, roll your... I don't want you taking damage from the oil. We can move you back over here, but the queen's likely to hit you then. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do. We might get lucky and be able to paralyze him again, but I don't think that will work. Piper could move here, though. I mean, you're going to take a hit, Piper, if I do that. Actually, arguably two hits, because the queen will move up and just shoot you. Seabrass, let's move you here. Aim up and let him have it. We can't, we can't keep you here, Piper. We can't keep you there. Anywhere else I move you, we're lucky to be hit. Let's move you back here. Payroll. I don't think he'll be able to reach you from this spot. We'll keep you here, and you'll just fire at him. Let's use the double shot to make quick work of him. Nice, and he can't move again. Oh, a unicorn! Oh, you'll pay for that. You'll pay for that. Let's, let's just kill this guy and be done with it. Piper, you have to deal with the ad who showed up, though. A 
unfortunately. Seabrass, you're gonna move directly kind of under him. And double shot to kill him. Or very get very close to killing him. Payroll! Smack him! Vonsky, kill him. Now we can deal with the queen. For a tiny bit. Payroll, let's use your wheel and deal. And flanker? Piper. I don't really want to leave you there. It's not a good spot because she can just aim down and hit you. You need to be where Seabrass is. Kind of. Seabrass, let's charge you up here. Ivanski, just put some more damage into her. Also destroy her cover. And let's Piper... Let's move you where Seabrass was. Okay, Piper, move down to this cover, and you'll take a long aim shot at this gentleman over here. Ivonsky, we can't really use you to hit this gentleman. Here, well, I'm nervous that if I move you, let's say, behind him and shoot him, one of those shots will set up the oil and you'll take heavy damage. So Seabrass needs to be the one to kind of kill him. You're gonna take a hit, Seabrass, unfortunately. There's no nothing we can do about, it, about that. Hmm. Let's move you... Darn it. Let's move you here, Payroll. Regain your hat and grab the other hat. And you'll just try to ricochet him. Uh, this is probably going to miss, Tim. There we go. Nice. And the oil's gone. I'm not going to fire at her with my last shot in, in the round. We'll charge up here, behind this barrel, which will hopefully distract her. Ivanski can take a hit, if he, ha if he must. So you took... You had ten, you took three, and you recovered two. Payroll... Where are we moving, you guys? All right, Piper can move here. We can hit her in the back of the head. We won't hit her again this round. Uh, maybe we should. One once more? No, I, I really don't want to hit her again. She's close to... Un spawning the next group. Vonsky, we'll move you here.
Okay. Um. Payroll. You can move up behind these guys and fire into at least this gentleman. Piper. Put some damage. Actually, no. Kill. I can't kill the ad, can I? Oh, maybe I can. We can. It'll be tricky, though. See, Brass, I don't want you to fire quite yet. I want to see... Well, no. We just had an ad happen. This is probably the safest time to do it. Will she stay in melee against you, Ivan? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, God. Payroll, I don't want... I'm oh, sorry. Seabrass, I don't really want you firing this round. She's missing a good deal of her shots. Which is lucky for me. Hold on, your grace. These scoundrels shan't be allowed to nick my honor yet again. Oof! Fast, heavily damaged dealing enemies are now here. And we need to move you, Payroll. If I move you here, though, you're looking to take, take some oil damage. Let's move you back here, and we'll use... Oh, we can't use wheel and deal. It's not ready yet. Who else hasn't gone? Piper? Let's move you... Uh, sure. Let's move you here, Piper. You can go ahead and put some damage into them. Oops, or you can miss. Seagrass. I love to have you charging up to fight them. But you'll come down this way instead. Payroll, you cannot stay there. We'll move you behind the oil after all, as dangerous as this is. Actually, no. We'll, we'll take turns to move you another space. Charge up and double strike him. Harold, you can't move. I'm fine with that. We should be able to put some more damage into the queen. Piper can. That's a good hat. <laughs> That's a good hat. Uh, Ivansky? Kill him. Let's do it. That was a magnificent hit. You're gonna regret that. Just letting, just letting you know, Ivan's gets to move you up a spot. Aim south and... Oh, God! That's oil. He's almost dead. Payroll, move behind this guy and blow him up. Piper... Let's move you down here and hit him in the face. Actually, we can probably kill him if I can get both these shots. Darn it! Yeah, that would have that would have got him. Darn it! Oh, 
Oof. Payroll, do you have a healing item? You do not, and you cannot move this round. Ivanski, pick up the hat. And kill him. Seabrass, use your volcano oil to protect yourself. Piper will start moving up in order to get ready to heal you. See, Russ, we already have that hat. There's your old hat. She's gonna teleport away. She's gonna teleport away. Um, I don't want to. Oh, you don't also don't have your payback up uh, running at the moment. Let's move you here to reclaim your hat. Payroll can move down here. Piper. Ah, oh, darn it. We can't quite get everybody where I need them. Ivanski, you're going to have to distract for us. Crap. Well, I'm glad we're all here. Oof. How to do this? I'm thinking payroll backs up to here. And fires? No. Okay. Oh, God. This is so bad. I need to heal them, but we have to run very far away. Let's move you up here, at least. Ivanski. Hero's wheel and deal is ready. And if I heal with Piper, Piper's not running away. We're gonna have to kill, make sure they all die right now. Piper, let's let's auto heal. Payroll can move behind everyone and flank them. Oh no! I was expecting significantly more damage than that. Ivanski, can you? No, you cannot in fact kill it from where you are. The best thing we can do is use you to distract the queen. Actually, no. Let's. We, I, I think we. I think we've just lost Piper. Oh, or payroll. I'd rather payroll get hit. I'd rather neither of them hit, but whatever. Ah, you're not behind her. She's facing this way. I don't like all that oil. See, nah, there's no good place to go here. Ivanski, try to damage the cover she's behind. I have to kill that melee thing. We have to do it. Seagrass, you can take a hit, so let's move you here. And use your fire twice? Actually, we can hit her in the back of the head. Oh, she's dead! You're as good as dead, miss. I'm so sorry. The Red 
Queen defeated. There is no loot left either, but you're gonna go grab your hat before this ends. Let's get everyone out of here. Well done, team. We don't care about the oil any longer. Ivansky. Payroll. That could have gone a lot worse. Holy crap. Uh, this past your turn. Audience with the Queen successful. Royal Crown. Fit for a fair true monarch who puts the common good first, maintains the peace, and constantly strives to offset any social inequalities. I don't know about that. That sounds very, very dangerous, honestly. The common good first? That's scary sounding. Calvary Riot Helmet. A ballistic helmet with a built in blunt trauma protection system, designed to absorb any impact from rioters or pig headed moisture farmers. Piper has reached level 7. Picked up. Power Shot now deals plus 2 bonus damage. Seabrass has earned. Riptide Rage. Seabrass has had enough. Payback now deals plus 3 bonus damage. Ivansky has gained. If Ivansky is about to get scrapped, survive with 1 health. Only works if Ivansky has more than 1 health. Payroll has picked up. Backstabber. Flanker now deals plus three bonus damage. I never met royalty before. I was expecting her to be a little more... royal. That was tougher than I thought it would be. The Red Queen sure knew her way around a gun. Hopefully, besting her will teach the Royal Space Force not to step on hard-working Steambots. Yeah, we know how to handle ourselves. Now let's go free the poor prisoner and see if it wants to help us keep the peace for a while. People have things to say first, though. Dora? I'm not exaggerating when I say that I'm excited to see what was in that ship. Say, if you didn't have to look so strong all the time, what would you do if you could follow your dreams? Since before giving up legs of childhood, Ivansky has only ever wanted to dance the ballet. When at circus, Ivansky borrowed prima ballerina's shoes, went to backyard, danced just once, and that was enough. Clownbot saw me and told Ringmaster. He say, dancer not strong looking. Great Ivansky did not dance again. But you don't think they are right, do you? Of course not. Dancing takes real strength and timing and grace. Good for you, Ivansky. Back to your dreams. I've started studying the benefits of this whole group dynamics business, the sharing and all that. Glad to hear it. As I see it, a bot is just a gear in a machine. The more cogs, the stronger the machine. That's the spirit crewmate. That's actually terrifying again. <laughs> I know you're all, you're, you are individuals, you're allowed to have, you're not part, well, I mean, working together is good, and more people work together, you can get tasks done, but, uh, I don't know, I don't know, it's a little too, uh, no, no politics here. Today. All we have to do now is enter the vault and spring the poor captured thing. All right, let's go, let's go do this. Locked up like treasure. The Royal Vault may be the most secure place in the universe. It now serves as a cell for an ancient and powerful being. Time to open it up. Ah, hello. Glad to see both of you. Everyone's given up already. I think he's sleeping on the job at Endor. 
um, pouting. <laughs> this. This is the Great Statue of Rusty. It looks nothing like the Steam Bot whatsoever. And I forget the very sophisticated bot's name who designed it as a piece of art, showing his ascendance into helping all the other bots back on Earth before it was destroyed. But there it is. I'm so glad they put all these little nods to SteamWorld Dig 1 into this game. Interesting. It's floating, whatever it is. Ah, finally we are free. Our torture is at an end. Oh, aren't you just the cutest little thing? Your chaotic kind was bound to break the seal to our cell sooner or later. We had expected an army of undead steam bots, but you have served the same purpose. So it was your technology that Chop Suey got a hold of. This is all a tad more ominous than I was hoping for. We will return to deep space and wake the rest of Vectron. World order must be restored. We have slumbered far too long. We will resume our age-old task of ridding the world of steam bots. And how are you going to do that, cutie? Doom will come to all who are not Vectron. Crap! Let's get back to get back to the ship. Carry on. Good luck with all that guarding. Fen, you probably have something to say about this, don't you? The scrapper stole your power source, right? Yes. It was taken from me when they threw me into the hole of the junkyard. I think you might have been the source of Chop Suey's power meaning you were once a part of Vectron's technology. I knew we shouldn't have brought this stray on the ship. Who knows when we all get scrapped? That's enough, Sally. But I am not Vectron. I am Fen. You sure are. You belong to this crew just as much as any of us. Wonky? Welcome back, ma'am. The Queen should have destroyed that thing when she had the chance. So, I'm guessing releasing the prisoner did not go as planned. Yeah, I think we might just have released an extremely powerful creature. With plans to eradicate all of Steam by Kind. And I think Fen was once a part of that plan. I would never try to eradicate any Steam Bot. I know it. We all just have to help set this right. Yar. Sorry, crew, but we have to take a trip into deep space. Not exactly the vacation I was hoping for. Set the course, ma'am. When it rains and pours, there's always one more thing to do. Deep space it is, then, ma'am. All right, everyone, we're going to stop here, though. When we come back, we will head off into deep space, and I will see you all then. Take care, everyone, and thanks for watching.